Lord, open our names, and we shall praise your name. Firmly I believe, and truly, God is three, and God is one. And I next acknowledge surely manhood taken by the Son. And I trust and hope most fully in that manhood crucified. And each thought and deed unruly do to death as he has died. Simply to his grace and holy light and life and strength belong. And I love supremely solely him the holy, him the strong. Adoration I be given with and through the angelic host. To the God of earth and heaven, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. A God, you will not spurn a humbled contrite heart. Have mercy, me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offences truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned, what is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence. And we without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, Then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring at your goodness. O oh, Lord, over my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise, for in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt off and from me would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, A humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favour to Zion, Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with the lawful sacrifice, Holocaust of it on your altar. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. O God, you will not spurn a humbled, contrite heart. In spite of your anger, Lord, have compassion. Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe at your deeds. Do them again in our days. 
and our days make them known. In spite of your anger, have compassion. God comes forth from Timan. The Holy One comes from Mount Paran. His splendor covers the sky, and his glory fills the earth. His brilliance is like the light. Rays flash from his hands. There his power is hidden. You march out to save your people, to save the one you have anointed. You made a path for your horses in the sea, in the raging of the mighty waters. This I heard, and I tremble with terror. My lips quiver at the sound. Weakness invades my bones. My steps fail beneath me. Yet I calmly wait for the doom that will fall upon the people who are sailors. For even though the fig does not blossom, nor fruit grow on the vine, even though the olive crop fail, and fields produce no harvest, even though flocks vanish from the folds, and stalls stand empty of cattle, yet I will rejoice in the Lord, and exult in God my Saviour. The Lord my God is my strength, he makes me leap like the deer, he guides me to the high places. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In spite of your anger, Lord, have compassion. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. O praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He has established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoar like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts him. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob. To Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt as with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts both now and for ever. Amen. We praise the Lord Jerusalem. Now in union with Christ Jesus, you who used to be far away have been brought near by the death of Christ. For Christ himself has brought us peace by making the Jews and Gentiles one people. With his own body, he broke down the wall that separated them and kept them enemies. He abolished the Jewish law with its commandments and rules in order to create out of the two races one new people in union with himself and in this way making peace. By his death on the cross, Christ destroyed the enmity. By means of the cross, he united both races into one body and brought them back to God. I call to the Lord the Most High, for he has been my help. I call to the Lord the Most High, for he has been my help. May he send from heaven and save me. I call to the Lord the Most High, for he has been my help. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I call to the Lord the Most High, for he has been my help. Through the loving mercy of our God, 
the rising sun has come to visit us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old, a Saviour who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled, and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father, to grant us a tree from fear, and say from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice, all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people a salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Give praise to the Father Almighty. To his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Through the loving mercy of our God, the rising sun has come to visit us. Father, we praise you for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the Holy Spirit, he offered himself in sacrifice to you, that we might be delivered from death and selfishness, and be free to live in your peace. Father, in your will is our peace. We accept this new day as your gift, Lord. Grant that we may live in newness of life. Father, in your will is our peace. You made all things and keep all things in being. Give us the insight to see your hand at work in them all. Father, in your will is our peace. Your Son sealed the new and everlasting covenant in his blood. Help us to live by this covenant and honour it. Father, in your will is our peace. As Jesus died on the cross, blood and water flowed from his side. As we share in the Eucharist, pour out your Spirit upon us. Father, in your will is our peace. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty God, as in this morning prayer we offer you our praise, 
Grant that in your kingdom, together with your saints, we may praise you with even greater joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.